Tonight, new details in a major shakeup at CMS. The man in charge of the area's largest school system is suspended. Tonight, a school board member gives us some new insight about what happens next. Also tonight, for the first time, we're hearing from the man filling in for Superintendent Dr. Clayton Wilcox, who's on paid leave. We received a statement from the district announcing his suspension this morning. The news comes just days after a closed door meeting on Friday where we're told the school board discussed his performance. As of tonight, the board has not given a reason for the suspension. NBC Charlotte's Hunter Signs is digging for answers this evening. He joins us live with the latest. Hunter. Fred and Sarah, tonight there was a meeting about a different issue. The now suspended superintendent was supposed to give a presentation there, but instead his replacement gave it, and we caught up with him right after. So help me God. Dr. Clayton Wilcox off the job and Ernest Winston filling in as superintendent, starting with a promise to parents. I want parents to know that our focus will remain on making sure that we do right by kids. The acting superintendent says he spoke with the school board over the last 48 hours about the job. I thought long and hard about it, and ultimately I said yes, because I care tremendously about this school system. School board chairperson Mary McRae not going into detail on why Dr. Wilcox was suspended, citing a personnel matter. We have to honor what his contract says. Wilcox will still be paid. His base salary went from $280,000 a year to $307,000 just this month on July 1st. Although nobody will say why he was suspended, some point to him being at the center of controversy. Under his leadership, the district stopped fingerprinting new employees for nearly a year, a violation of board policy. School board member Thelma Byers Bailey not saying how long the suspension will be, but says Wilcox's future is in his hands. He has a decision to make. Yes, the ball is in his court. Now, she also noted that the vote to suspend Wilcox was unanimous. Now, if he is terminated by cause or for cause, rather, he would not get any severance pay. But if he is terminated for convenience, he would have they would have to pay him two years worth of his salary. That totals six hundred fourteen thousand dollars. All of that, of course, taxpayer money. Reporting live tonight, I'm Hunter Signs for NBC Charlotte. The latest in an ongoing developing story. Hunter, thank you.